YouTube channel, it's your girl Miss Shiz. If you haven't subscribed, please click the link below and subscribe. And please don't forget to share with your friends. So today we're going to be talking about how to start your own business or advice on how to start your own business. I'm going to interview two people that will give you their views, their experiences and how they started their own business. At the end of it, I will tell you how I'm trying and how I'm struggling to make my business work. So stay tuned. Uh, the first person we are interviewing for today is Delroy. Delroy of Blue Royal Enterprise. So Delroy, tell us about your business. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Delroy and I'm the founder and CEO of Blue Royale and um, today I'm just gonna be talking about the company and um, what I go through uh, every day so basically um, I started like I think three years ago and it wasn't easy especially in Zev it wasn't easy at all but uh, I'm just thankful that like we've been progressing because I'm also trying to like venture into other things that's why i made it like an enterprise if you look at the name it's called blue royale enterprise because i want to do a lot of things so for now we're just covering um housing clothing and uh farming so because like i want all the um platforms to bring in money it's very good how you managed to start your business on such difficult economy um I think it, it looks promising the company looks promising because um, I'm still growing and for now for now it's doing so well so um, yeah it's, it's not bad but then I, I feel like if I was in another country I would be doing way better because um, yeah the, the business industry in Zimbabwe especially when it comes to like um, businesses that have something to do with customers it's, it's a bit tricky because at times people don't have money to buy things so it's, it's a bit hard to survive but then you have to fight question for today is please do give people that want to start their own businesses or people that are inspiring to start their businesses advice on how they should start their own business um advice for someone who's trying to start a business well i think you need to start where you can like anything that you can do or anything that uh, you are able to do at that time for example if your because like income is the most important thing when it comes to business so if you can start with selling let's say like eggs and if it's gonna give you like three dollars profit then start there because all you need is income capital is what you need for your business to go far so if you start with eggs because um, there's a saying that um, you need to do what you can until you can do what you want. So just start where you can and um, everything will just take shape. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much Delroy for your beautiful advice. I think we've all had it. Delroy says start with whatever you have. So if today you've got a dollar, go buy eggs and start selling eggs. That's where you start from. Everyone needs to start from somewhere. I think we've all had it from Delroy. Let's go into our next interview, which is from Naomi of Naomi Brides. <laughs> Magadi ko badi wa chari ri me kwa sa zadruku zadu murgu na chirgu go na show na guys. Hi everyone, it's your girl Naomi. <laughs> I'm a Zimbabwean currently studying in China. Yeah. So this girl, <laughs> she has been stressing me, Jalin. I you have to make Friends a video. Like I have to post you on YouTube. This that yeah. So here I am. <laughs> I have to make sure that the campus police doesn't see me without wearing this, otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah, so the first question is, tell us about your business, what it is about. So, I'm Naomi Bridals and I sell bridal wear, like from wedding gowns 
to bridesmaids dresses to mini brides dresses to wedding suits guest wear and also i sell like prom dresses dinner dresses cocktail dresses quality is expensive guys and um how did you start your business and challenges faced well i started this whole thing as a job like i was in my second year here that was around 2017 thereabouts and i was like why not start <laughs> then i started advertising whatsapp groups yo by then there was no whatsapp status then yeah and i faced a lot of challenges like in terms of handling money i was not that good i was still young in business and also challenge the other challenge was language barrier you know i'm in china and chinese dololo <laughs> but here i am i'm surviving my advice for someone trying to start a business is that if you are too big to start small then you are too small to start big i think that's all that's it guys you heard from naomi do take her advice because her business is going well and then we'll go back to my small business that i am trying to start and how it's going so my business is called shares collections um i sell clothes uh and i do nails so with this it's a little something that i started while doing my university that was like last year uh, after i stopped working i decided to try something by myself so uh the way i did is i sell clothes i do nails and i stopped selling hair for a while but i'll bring that back i'll be selling hair clothes and doing nails so how did i start this business actually i have a friend of mine mj she sells clothes here in malaysia so i didn't have capital i went to mj i'm like can i market your clothes and then she's like yeah you can so you market my clothes and then you top up whatever you sell and then you take that profit then i was like okay fine so we'll start with for example something that she's selling for 60 ringgit or 100 ringgit she'll tell me okay this is 100 ringgit but for you i'll make it 95 then the five is for you but if you want to add more and sell you can do that so i used to top 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 that's how i raised money to sell some of my stuff so whenever i'm short on money i go back and i still do that to keep the marketing rolling so i started from nothing but with friends helping me i started getting my own income and then i started doing nails and everything and then the advice to people that want to start their own businesses guys there's never a right time there's never a wrong time there's never a perfect time to start whenever you feel okay i'm ready what you do is you take your book pen and a paper write your plan your goals how you want to do it where you want it to end up and what you wish to develop then as soon as you're done with that just go for it like just go for it because there's never a perfect time if you tell yourself okay i'll start when i have ten thousand the day is ten thousand something comes up it's never a perfect time start from whatever you have today just make sure you learn about it follow people on youtube follow business people that will teach you and advise you on how to go about it so guys thank you very much for watching and remember this video is a motivational video it's um part two of let's grow together so the purpose of this video is for you to start something in order for you to build yourself so let's grow together guys start your own business and start making your own money life is too short for you to just keep thinking of okay i'll start when i'm 30 i'll start when i'm 40 i'll start when i'm start right away make something out of yourself like be an ambitious person so guys don't forget to subscribe
share like and comment if you have your own business or if you have advice please do put it on the comment section so that we can all learn and you can all grow together see you guys in my next video and a big shout out to my girl chalene keep it up please don't forget to like uh how like subscribe and comment uh oh, oh what how do they say it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe yeah